Hi, I'm Captain Doug Stanford, Texas Fish Tips, this is your weekly fishing report. Alrighty, out here at the end of that north jetty, on that north side, we've been catching tarpon. There's redfish, there's trout, there's spadefish, there's triggerfish, you name it, it's out there. We've seen sharks, just about everything else out there. If it's not too windy, get down on this beach down through here and there's been some trout down through here. All the way down to Cedar Bayou, uh, there has been some nice redfish and some trout in that surf. Now, all that mullet is already moving to the south, down this way. It will come down these jetties and hang up right here, about that third sandbar. If you're fishing that north jetty, uh, get on that jetty boat, get out there about the third sandbar on those rocks, and that's about where the best fishing will be. Uh, around the end of it's good, but there's a lot of boats, a lot of other stuff going on, but there is some good fish there. Now, if you're going in the inside, of the North Jetty on the outgoing tide, the very tip of that jetty, there's a little eddy right there and it makes a good little current right in there and those redfish will stack in there. There's some nice redfish. I've caught turp in there as well. We had some nice reds today on croaker there. Uh, they'll eat that shrimp, but that croaker was catching the bigger ones. Now, if you get on that South Jetty, same thing. There's some good fish all down through it. Try not to bother the people that's fishing on the bank. They can't move around if you're in a boat. Uh, but get down the end of that jetty, 15, 25 foot of water. As that water's coming in or going out, either one, there's some redfish stacked on those rocks. You just have to use your sonar and go down through there and you'll find them. But there is some good fish to be had. Okay, guys, in the morning, if it's incoming tide, this little jetty right down through here, Fina docks all down through there, it's been holding some nice redfish. There's some big trout mixed in there. They like that croaker. You can use piggy perch, but croaker's been working the best for me. Big shrimp catches everything. It'll be 1,001 ladyfish. If you do catch them, keep them. Uh, they're good for cut ladyfish. It's good for cut redfish bait. Now, if you jump across this channel here, but Chandler's, not Chandler's, Klein's Landing, all down through this whole shoreline through here, has been holding some nice redfish and trout on those rocks about five foot of water. It's out of that eddy, out of that main current, and that's where they'll be. Five to ten foot, there's some really good fish down there. They catch them on croaker. You can use shrimp and use piggies, but there's some good fish all down through here. Okay, over in Sailboat Channel, there's been some black drum and redfish right up down this bank, right here on this corner. I've uh, been holding right up in the shallow. Try not to spook them. If you can, go in there with your trolling motor instead of your big motor, power pole down, and watch for them, and they'll surface. They're, they'll eat the shrimp. You can get dead shrimp. You can use live shrimp, either one. Uh, sometimes they're a little further out here. There's a little place right here on the end. There's sometimes a little uh, inlet that comes in right there, and they'll be hanging in that area. Now, if you come on out here, we call it Dutch Johns. See this little pipeline coming through right here? These redfish have been stacking right here. There's a little bowl area right here, and they'll eat a shrimp. Uh, for the smaller ones, if you want the bigger ones, use cut ladyfish. Uh, croaker will work, too. But cut ladyfish has been catching most of the redfish right here. Now, if you come on down this bank just a little bit in this wide channel, there's some black drums stacked in here. Usually they're right on the end of this point, but they can be anywhere. Same thing. Be easy on them. Try not to beat them up. If you see the school, don't put that trolling motor on high. You'll spook them. Ease it up on them and power pole down or anchor up and let them come to you. Uh, and you'll have a lot better day. All right, out here on the end of the point of Mustang, going into East Flats, right here on the incoming tide, he's been holding some nice redfish, and there's a few trout mixed in here as well. Uh, come on into East Flats, it's cut right in here, it's holding some black drum all the way back by these little houses. But there's also, if you get some weight fishers, or you can use a trolling motor, but there's been some black drum and reds all out down through here. Now, be careful, there is two new, brand new islands out here that are doing all this dredging. Be careful. Try not to run over them, especially in the dark. There's nothing right over here. So try not to hit those. Uh, it's going to mess up your boat. Okay, over in Corpus Christi Bay, along the shoreline right here, uh, there's a big shoal in here where they've thrown a bunch of dredge material in there. Be careful. It's only about a foot deep. Uh, it'll be 15 foot, and all of a sudden you come up on a foot, and you don't even, don't even see it unless you see the bird standing out on it. And by then, it's a little bit too late. Another place is another shoal right here where they've thrown a bunch of... Uh, Dredge material, be careful. It's only about two foot deep. If you got a sailboat or a bigger vessel, uh, like say a flying bridge, uh, yacht or something come through here, uh, be careful. Just stay in that Corpus Christi ship channel. Don't veer out into the, the bay like that because you might run over it. 
Uh, now, there's lots of wells out here, and there's old Downtowner and a couple of these other big ones, like Seven Sisters, and they've been holding some nice trout. Uh, there's a few black drum mixed in around there, and there's also a couple of sharks mixed around. I've been using big shrimp if I can find them. Croaker's working. Piggies will work, too. But anyway, there's some good fish to be had around these wells. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Doug Stanford.